and we are ready to get the 2022 Women's Challenge Cup okay, final okay. underway. It'll be the blue and amber of Leeds Rhinos to kick off with Courtney Winfield Hill, who goes for the short kickoff and straight into touch. A great start for the Rhinos. Looks at her options, finds Georgia Roach. Again, okay, great Roach running off around the middle. Loads. Oh, there's a break coming through from Holby for Leeds. She's got Rotherham to beat. Great defence coming in. Oh, she's but got it. over. Holby gets the first try of the Challenge Cup final 2022, and it goes to Leeds Rhinos. From Bennett, Roach shows across, catches Shannon Crowell, not moving quick enough, and has, has the ability and strength to carry the woman of steel over the try line in Jodie Cunningham. What a wonderful start for the Leeds Rhinos in the Betfred Challenge Cup 2022. And that'll just relieve a lot of that pressure, you know, the, the confidence now with the Rhinos, and it'll just relieve a bit of that pressure and a couple of the errors going forward, but great try. That's a terrific try there. I love the work from the nine onto the halfback and just drags the air defender, keeps her moving. A little bit of an unorthodox offload there along the floor, but it's got away with it. It works, it yeah. works. Here's Harris with the kick over the top, into space, it's Leah Burke, sends her in. Leah Burke wins the try, and that not fair off half time could make it interesting but the referee hasn't given it yet he's given a try as an on-field decision check for maybe Carrie Roberts yeah, no doubt Liam Burke is onside and if it's given but the Rhinos you know they came up with those two errors didn't they back to back errors that invited Saints back in and we said all throughout the half that if you give Saints opportunities they will take them and that kick there from Zoe Harris. Okay. Well, it's inch perfect, the isn't it? Behind the ball. Can Leah Burke. Through, please. Hold She's going to dot that down. Yep, there we go. The try given to Leah Burke. Just to jump on the ball and switch his defence straight into attack as they go forward once more and win a penalty. Emma Lumley taking that ball in for the Rhinos. Crowell just apologises as she moves away from that tackle. Then regroup. Big moment. Strikes it cleanly by the look oh, of it. Oh, yes. Yeah, great kick. The ankles of Amy Hardcastle. What can Saints do on the last? Stopped. Little kick through. Taken. Oh, he's gone loose. And it looks like St Helens might have capitalised on that. Again, I think we're going to be going to the video referee to see if this will put St Helens ahead. Try given on the field. Really slow. Ball looks to come out by Leeds and then goes loose. And the ball is great. Could you just put that back again, please? Let's go back again, please. So it's lost by Leeds there and it comes out. And the ball is loose. And then the ball is grounded by St. Helens. I am happy I've seen all available angles and I've made my decision. Rushier, that's a try. Okay. Time on. Jones once more. Stott. Cunningham. Cunningham's got Emily Rudge. Well the two linking up together. They've played together since school. They know each other very well indeed. Here's Cunningham once more. Cunningham. Cunningham goes. Cunningham's in. Is that the try? Is that the crucial try? Still time to go in this game, but what a huge score from Johnny Cunningham. Lee's just going to recover and, and dominate. You know, from one chance at the other end of the field, a missed kick there to take the game to 10-8. And blink your eyes and moments later, Jodie Cunningham, no line speed, sees the gap, steps on her left foot. What a moment, what a try, what a player. Well, big moments need big players, and that's exactly what happened there for Jodie Cunningham. She stepped up as St Helens captain, and she made, that for Le for, made it difficult for Leeds. Two to go. Here's Stott once more. Stott finds Cunningham, who's got support from Hardcastle. She looks to try and get that ball away to Partington. Is that down? I think it is. Referee. Checks with his touch judge. They're happy. It's there. Partington scores. The work done by Amy Hardcastle. And as we see here, Jodie Cunningham's passed to Amy Hardcastle. I feel sorry for Butcher. She's done a terrific job on it. But as with all good players, you give him an inch and they'll take a yard. And on that day, Amy Hardcastle just gets on the outside of Butcher. I thought she could have finished this off herself, but selfishly gives it to Ebony Partington, who puts the ball down. Well. Yep. And with that try as well, 
Well, it puts Saints winning the Challenge Cup once more.